All right, Steining Guru, joined by Dibs and Willard. It's the crossover on 95.7 The Game. Dibs has been gone. He don't look like like I thought he looked. Bags under his eyes. You look no. good. Yeah, no. appreciate it. No, uh, he looks yeah. rich. Yeah. Well, yeah. He looks Boy, rich. It's a good look trip. It's a good trip. And yeah. I said this before, and uh, it's the approach I took even before I had a baby in my 50s. But when I go to Vegas, Bloop. I go to sleep. I don't sleep the whole time, but my goal is to not go there and lose my voice. <laughs> Although I lost it for a while, and I got it back. I don't want to come back and be totally haggard and have to struggle oh, boy. coming back. So I got seven to eight hours of sleep. You know, shout out, not having to wake up with the baby. Got up about 10 o'clock on Saturday. Wow. Which was uh, it's pretty cool. Went to bed about three, but I like to sleep. I, I like to go on vacation and get rest. Yeah, even I was in a place like Vegas. You said you were drunk yeah. and he was 6 and 0 early. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah stayed hot, kid. Stayed uh, hot. When you have a baby, uh, I would have no hesitation at all getting on a plane and flying I don't know where. Right. And getting on another plane and flying right back. I'm like, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. Sleep and, and me time. Correct. Yeah, so I get it. You, yeah. Maybe you didn't even go to Vegas this weekend for all we know. Maybe you didn't. And uh, Maybe I didn't. I caught the uh, 5.15 a.m. flight out of Oakland. So I got up at 3.30. Oh. And, uh, on Thursday. The Bloody Mary correct, flight. On Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Yeah, Wednesday was a, a staycation with the baby. And after that, it was like, I can't wait to get up out of here. <laughs> Love you, my, my, but daddy's exhausted. I get to the airport at like 4.15. TSA, packed. That's oh, just packed. Weird. Really? It's like 150 Vegas. deep. People going everywhere. Man. People going everywhere. Wow. Yeah, so it was... Uh, no, that, you know, cause, wow. Good thing I showed up early. Because uh, shout out the thoroughness of TSA. Tell me about the flight. These are all this is fun to me. <laughs> Tell me about the flight <laughs> back. Hey, uh, you, is that tongue in cheek? No, no, they're very thorough. Oh, the thorough. Oh, oh TSA. yeah, they're going. They're going to take their time. So you know, it's like, yeah, feel free to open another kiosk. No, we'd rather yeah. not. We'd rather have seven gotta, people standing around. Got to hold that ID up to the sky. Totally. Oh, look at it God. as if you can tell anything. And they say, sir, lower your mask. It's yeah. like, okay, okay, <laughs> you know, lower my mask. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> flight home. Different story. Forgot to check in, so your boy drew a C-17 Woo! Southwest. So I knew I was riding in the biscuit. That's middle seat. That was middle seat. So you're walking down the plane, and you're sizing it up, and it's like, uh, he's too fat. Yeah. Oh, she, maybe <laughs> possible body odor there. Uh, oh, I can tell that person's this, that person's that. <laughs> About 10 rows down, found a couple of couple of gentlemen. They both seem to be wow. smaller in stature. Like my chances. Got in the middle, and... Immediately, eyes closed, not opening them up again. It was over. Night, night. Speaking of uh, smaller in stature, what did oh. you think of the Warriors game? It's a good transition right there. Uh, I think the small in stature yeah, coach made the right choice about not playing the small in stature uh -oh. megastar. I don't, and I, I stand behind Steve Kerr in thinking that two minutes, if two minutes of Steph Curry means the difference between a win and a loss, your team's not very good. Well, that, and okay. you're talking about five games and seven nights, and the chef is coming off of a 12 minutes <laughs> played in the fourth quarter just two nights earlier. That was bad, yeah. And I think when you're asking a 36-year-old to go out there and shoulder the load for this team just so you can fight like heck to still be the 10 seed with your other star, Draymond Green, saying, I don't give a crap about Houston, let's just... Let's put the rat on the damn table. So Brought to you by Echo Pest Control. Off. They've called the dogs off. They've called their own dogs off. Yes. Wow. And, you know, you can Rick Celebrini me, and I buy it, but they're not chasing wins. If they really thought that winning that game was going to make the difference between they a championship like, or not, then he would have played 44 I, minutes. I don't think they've called off the dogs. Here's, here's, here's what I think, though. And I, I, I have reached the point where I am really tired of listening to people rip Steve Kerr for the rotations that he is putting out there, and here's why. If you are mad at Steve Kerr, that is based on the premise that you think the answer to the problem is in the building. And it's not. Period. Stop yelling at a man who does not have any answers for not having the answer. There are no answers. He has tried all of the things that you're talking about. They don't work. I, and I can't tell you exactly, you know, now it's, oh, they're, they're checked out or they've called off the dogs or, 
or, uh, you know, gosh, I mean, it's been so many years. They're not that excited about the playing thing. Like, I am way past the idea of all the things we've said this year. Well, we need more Moody. Well, we need we need less Pajemski. You waited too long for Trace Jackson Davis, and now it's Steph sat out three minutes that we wanted him to play, and and, and they're hanging on barely to the ten seed over the Rockets, who were nowhere near the him. Rockets, and we're sitting here acting like three minutes of Steph. Well, then they'd be contenders. If Steve would just get out of his own damn way, come on, man. Like, this is the way I look at this season. They had a plan. They tried it. Yeah. Looks like it didn't work. Okay. Plan next year better be real, real different, and I'm sure it will. Yeah, they'll run it yeah. back. Yeah. They just run it right back. Well, Let we don't see know. run it back. No, there's no chance they run it back. The answers are not there. Yes. Well, Joe, no. He's knocked on every door. And look at his face. He's wearing these losses. Yeah. Steve Kerr is. I mean, now I'm starting to like, man. You think he wanted to play GP2 24 minutes yesterday? But about that uh, minute or two, they were down eight. Curry comes back after being up three, and he sat. You just think, Willard, okay, they tied it up at 108. A minute or two with the chef, maybe you're winning by three or four. I'm just what the way I look at that is, if he plays additional minutes, it doesn't mean that he's going to be yeah. any more productive. And in fact, he might be less productive if he goes out there and plays I'll take those less extra minutes. Productive him than what Willard's saying. Well, less productive him was Friday that night. Hat. Less oh, productive was, him was Friday it, night. Friday and cut you, me, and thank you. That hurt me. That hurt my spirit. Well, I was Friday. watching it on the little that screen. That hurt me, they, man. In, in uh, the Paris sports book, they got the college games on the big screen, and then they have what we were calling the Brady Bunch screen with the <laughs> yeah, nine squares. No, <laughs> so we, Because I was betting a little bit of the women's tourney as well. Uh, South Carolina given 55, didn't cover. Wow. They won by 53, but... So we'd look at the little screen and be like, hey, where's that game? Oh, that that's down there, Cindy Brady. Because you'd had the three yeah. Brady girls on the left. I love it. The three Brady boys on the right. Mom and dad in the middle, top and bottom, and then Alice. So that game, Warriors, was on Cindy Brady. And Saturday. On Friday. So I'm squinting and trying to watch it. I'm like, man, they're in it. And then it's like, oh, man, they're down. Oh, man, they're losing. So Kerr had yeah. to show that film man. like a high school team Saturday right? in a hotel. About in Minnesota, about how bad they were defensively. Oh, Willard, if we're talking about effort, and I think we are, then I'm out. If, if if we're here now and we're talking about effort, they don't close out on anybody. I'm, I'm like, guys are going to make shots, but what is going on? Did you feel at any point in watching last night's game like they were going to win? They had a chance. I'm being for honest. Sure. I did. Of course they had a chance. Of course, of course they I had did, Willer. Of course they had a chance. 104, no. I said, here we go. But no, the days of they're going to win this game. Oh, God. Are, well, oh, they're, no. Yeah. No, they're, they're talking over, yeah. to me. Yeah. They're going to lose this game. What? That's how I felt the whole night. Oh, no. I don't care that they're up by nine in the first half. Don't act like we haven't watched this. This clam bake yeah, eighteen times already this year. Of Twelve points. You knew they were going to. They're playing Minnesota. Like Minnesota is the better <laughs> team, and they're going to show up in the fourth quarter and do what the better team does. They're going to lose that game. You can feel it the entire night. Wow. You know, you're up by nine at the end of one. You're up by six, and then you're up by three. I'm like, no, I can see where this is going. The you're going to lose wheel. this game. I was like, well, here we go. You know, like you start to. Th this is the way I think about it. Like I think about looking at Minnesota and saying. To get back to championship level, you almost need Steph Curry to be on a team where he can play a little like Mike Conley. And I get it. Curry's a better player than Mike Conley. But you look at Mike Conley, and he's got to be 36 now, too. Hell of a player in his prime. Not not yeah. like Steph. As he's not a number one. But who would drive but the car? My point is he can Anthony Edwards can like there's Steph Curry's got to play 35 minutes like Steph Curry. Like, he doesn't get to just be Mike Conley and let other guys do stuff for 30 minutes. And you know what? Well, now I got an open three, and now I'll stick. Like, you know what I mean? He's got Mike Conley can pick his spots yeah. and make a great play against Kaminga on D and then make the three, and it's boom, boom. Like, Curry's got to do that all game long. He's got to be Curry all game long. Exactly. That's, that's a great way to put it. He's currently 43rd in the league in total minutes played. Oh. For me, it's not about minutes a game. For an older player, it's about total minutes. There's only one guy older than him who's played more minutes than he has. LeBron. And that's LeBron James. Okay. So everyone else who's played okay. more minutes I than guess. Steph is a younger man than Steph. So 
For me, 30 minutes of Steph, that's probably about right at this but, point but, in, his, in his year. But yesterday it wasn't. You 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 you, you stopped at 30. You could have yeah. brought him back with 8.56 left. What, why didn't you? And if all but of a sudden now Rick you're going to pull the rug out from underneath the Warrior fans and say, oh, we've let him play 33 and 34 all year. Stein's been saying, why is he playing so much? You wait to now to where the Rockets are on your ass to say, you know what, Curry, we're going to arrest you now. What are we resting for? I don't think you got that, 12 games left, and that might be it, I don't Captain? think Celebrini, who makes these calls mm. osten- ostensibly, I don't think that he looks at the record, the standings, or anything other than this is what we see from Steph, and they have all the metrics on. Because Friday was bad. In right, the and think about this, too. And I was listening to you guys all morning on the drive-in. I had to get a new phone. I was running around like a madman. The minutes that he plays, and the minutes so far, 2,092, his minutes, 2,092, are active minutes. These are not minutes on the weak side. These are not minutes where I'm not involved. Off the ball, he's running like a crazy person. On the ball, he's fighting against double teams. He's getting top locked. He's having to fight and scrap and carry this team at 36. So his minutes, to me, are far more taxing than almost anybody else's mm. minutes in the association. It's pretty fair. So expect 30 or less Tomorrow and Wednesday, and I'm asking you might get a, you might get a load management day. How well, would that how would that sit with you? Well, if they won, I could have said, "All right, I see it." But I, if then the dogs are really they're really done. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't. I don't <laughs> if, if we get one of those, I don't even ones. understand this idea. And I heard you guys take a call or two of people that, and I know this is this is normal frustration <laughs> from a fan. Just play the young people. Right. Well, what the hell does that do for you? Uh, Is anybody going to sell me on the idea that something's going to happen? Because you're like, who cares about the 10 seed? Okay, fine. Something's going to happen in these final 12 games that's going to convince you of something about Moses Moody or like Kaminga's going to get something out of this because he's going to get 34 minutes instead of 29 in these final 12 games that's going to mean something meaningful in the future down the road. I look at it at the as, as the opposite. It's disrespectful to to the great players on this team, the veterans, to not let them like just play it out, see what happens. If you get the 10 seed, let's play the Lakers and see what happens. If you win a game, cool, get another game, see what happens. I'm not telling you that you're going to go on some sort of a they could make a run. I'm not I'm not doing that. I I just think that you're not going to get anything out of this whole play the young people for the last 12 games. Just keep doing what you're doing, but at the same time, I'm moving much toward big picture rather than small picture. It's coming. So all of these things that we talk about with small picture, Steph's minutes, and TJD was too long, and Jonathan Kaminga got into an argument, and Sham had a tweet, and Pajemski starts, and he shouldn't start. All these. This is all little picture stuff right now. So tomorrow night, that's little picture. Like, I'm not going to micromanage Steve Kerr's minutes decisions on a Tuesday night versus where this team is because the answer is not in the building. It is not currently in the building. So you got to change the building for next year. You listen to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube powered by First NorCal Credit Union. I mean, a couple weeks ago, I did think it would have been nice or it was important. Could you get into the playoffs to give these four young players an experience, even if it's a four or five game sweep? And I do think, you know, when we talk about the differences between, well, what if they finish 11th and out completely versus 10th, they go to L.A., get beat, or, you know, seventh, and they win, and now they're in, and they can make a, of all those kind of things. I was starting to come to ra- come around in the idea of it'd be nice to get, you know, Moody, and, although he's out of the rotation, yeah. but Pajemski and Kaminga and Trace Jackson Davis a playoff series. I agree with that, but that feel, we're, we're, we're to the level now of that feeling pretty far fetched. No you doubt. Think? No. The, war, the Warriors I mean, winning yes. a game in LA followed by winning a game in Phoenix. Yeah. I don't see it, Bob. Come on. Well, they play better on the road, they do. They do. And I'm not going to say that that's impossible, but it's really unlikely. The playoffs today feel very unlikely. Yeah, the play-in feels more tenuous than it did when I left of course, five man. days ago. And of course. We talked about the likelihood of Houston closing in, and 
I think you mentioned it before. Houston is 10 and 1 in their last 11, and they've gained dramatic ground on Golden State. <laughs> Looks like a listener's well, going to hold us, uh, owe us some lumpia, too, Mark. Oh, that's nice. right. Nice. Yeah, the great about, Liana the Ponce. Oh, yeah, she, oh, yeah, yeah she got me last year, and so I got her a couple of t shirts. Yeah. And uh, so we ran it back. She insisted we run the bet back, and it'll be uh, lumpia. For the team here, because, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, if they don't you, get the six, if they don't get the six, oh, well, boys, oh. you need yeah. to start cooking yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. buy those ingredients. Totally. The, the one thing I think is interesting is the fans who look at the Warriors and say, "Man, you know, they, tw- it's time to step it up." They urge sets of urgency. Four-time champions, this, that, and you start to think the Rockets are more incentivized to get the 10th seed than the Warriors. That would be an amazing achievement for right? them. Right? I mean, that's that's kind of the point. It's like, why these champions? Why can't they? They're champions. And it's the 10th spot. Oh, so there's something that they know. It's so, it's just tough. It's I, like I, going I, from eating Chateaubriand to uh, Top Ramen exactly. and Mac and Cheese. I wonder, does it make everyone Goulash. feel better that the Lakers are no different? Forget this stupid little, oh, they went on a run. Not right. this year. That was made at the trade deadline last year. They had some intriguing things happen, and obviously they were a matchup problem for the Warriors. That team not going anywhere either. Mark, right, I would, right. and you're like, Guru, I know you'd take it, but I'd bet you. I'll bet you. They're going to they're get out of the play-in to get to a series and make uh, it right back. Uh, I, 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 hey, Mark, yeah. just like, let me look. He's All already that, backed yeah. off. Yeah. Okay, it, it, it was a week ago. He was like, he still was talking like Western Conference I'll, Finals. I'll take that. No, he still wait, no, thinks they're going to win a couple rounds. I got two bits rounds. in the hopper. No, no I'm saying wanna, they'll you wanna, get out the play in and win a series. What's no, your Sacramento want. number that you need? Uh, a 49. Wait, they need to go 72. Wait, you're telling me that I can have, not only do you say the Lakers make it out of the play in, but they win a series? Yes, yeah, series. I don't even think they're going to make it out of the play in. So we got a bet. Then. We got okay. action. All right, we got action. We got a soda pop. For real. Lunch, Willard. Come on, No, we'll put it. We'll put a shot uh, at no. So for the Lakers just have rocks. to win a series. You guys are even watching last night. Two games. They and a beat series. the Indiana team as old as they are, like they were supposed to, because they, they got two season vets. They need to be. And now uh, uh, Rees is so falling. Two elimination games. Yeah, you know what that is, yeah. right? And then. A and series, then after they that, play. they have to go either beat the Nuggets or the Thunder or the Wolves. Give it to me. That Give it should to me. not have been a straight wow. up game. Yeah. Give it to me, baby. Rick you, you are on. Yeah. You are on. That, I mean, this is like that's you should be getting three drinks to no, one. That's God. a plus 300 right this there. Is, I got it. You acknowledged, you're, you, no matter what, even almost best case scenario, you have to give up two elimination games. Like... They, they have to they, win six out of nine. One no, of which will be on the road. It doesn't start until they get the... Uh, one of which will be on the road. Until they guarantee well, the series. What's that? It doesn't start the bet. Like, yeah. if they get knocked off in the play and we have no bet. What did oh, I got what I bet? No, 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 no. That's <laughs> not no, no. Randy, uh, what are they trying uh, to... DSI no, dude, this is all you, yeah, dude. No, you that, did that came out so wrong. You're, well, so you want to bet only... You got only, snookered. It only yeah. starts if they <laughs> make the playoffs. Yeah, that's... My, but that then was, you think that they will defeat either the Thunder Nuggets or Wolves. That was that was. I, the I might as well just say, why don't we bet. wait? Why don't we wait? Then there we and do go. the bet uh, when it happens. Uh, but I'll still take it. You know what? They're not winning a I'm series. I'm feeling frisky. Don't let's do it. Let's do it. it. Nope. Let's do it. I'll yeah! take. It. Can let's I get in it. on it? No, Seriously, no. Yeah. you're about to owe me in a second. Shot, here. Shot, well, right. shot. I'm the Kings. Forty nine. They're oh. forty one. So buddy. is forty nine okay. a push or no, is it forty eight? Is a forty nine's a win for Guru? Okay, so they need to go eight and four. That's what we talked about. Eight and four. And just while you're feeling great, I do want to burst your bubble just a little bit about the Warriors and keeping their pick. According, oh, yeah. <laughs> according to where, where they are currently, which is 13th, they would have the 13th worst record in the yeah, association. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Stanny. They would have a grand total of 4.7% chance to be in the top four. But see, one percent right. for the one. All right. Then but it's one point one, one point two, one point four. No, so no, I'm not about to give you this. Four point seven percent. So they have a a one in twenty chance to keep their pick because they have to be top four yeah. Yeah. to keep their pick. Well, Anywhere outside the top four, their pick. I think Lake Up will make a call. Uh, <laughs> Silver will make a call. Frozen it's envelope. Steph Curry, if we okay. give. But then this is what he told okay. me. Who's out there if you got the number? Like, there's no Anthony Edwards this year in the draft. There's a kid for Tennessee who transferred from Northern Colorado. I've had my eye on him. He's too old. 
How about dude, that? that dude, I How about the like Purdue kid signing? Uh, the seven foot four like kid. Hey, I like him. He's not, he don't like yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, he's. I like that's him. a college player. <laughs> that's big country. That's wow. a guy, you know what I mean? Big country got that's hurt. Like big country. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I like him. He that's just he's just me. bigger than everybody right now. Yeah. He's not gonna be bigger than he's everybody. He's no Chet Holmgren, but yeah, I don't know about ZD. No, ZD. That's so uh, funny. But Indiana was yeah, yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah. A, I know I'm going back to Friday Ice Cube. That was a bad performance. <laughs> of no. course it was. It's a it, bunch it of, was no. bad. At look, home, look, yeah. all, they don't play bad at home, Goo. <laughs> hey, this. Uh, Come the, on. You realize the six through the ten in the Western Conference of the NBA right now is filled with champions. Durant is in there. Kyrie is in there. LeBron is in there. Anthony Davis has a campy little bubble chip. Uh, Steph, wow. Clay, Dre. <laughs> they're all in there, and they're all not going to make it. They're all not going to go to the NBA so Finals LeBron this year. LeBron and, and Curry could not make The NBA could have LeBron and Curry at home. Oh, they when, will. Oh, my God. That's bad for they business. They will. Goo, do you... Do you at all allow for the fact that it, there's a, Tyrese Halliburton? Yeah. All right. He's 23. All right. I he was is, wrong on him. Pretty damn good player. Yeah, we were yeah. all right. Who knows? Yeah. He's 23. Do you allow for the fact that he could look at the Warriors and be licking his chops coming in no. here to play this team? And no doubt about okay, it. Okay. Well, then. It's but becoming why, easier okay. to understand and swallow but why, that's they're, why, why they're 36 I was going to tell Dibbs before this is I get out of here. 24 right. years old I get you. who is, can do things in the backcourt athletically that the Warriors yeah. don't have a guy who can match with But I thought they right did, now. and I'm not blaming this right. kid, but offseason Willard and Dibbs, Jonathan Kaminga, I love him, but it's the Spider-Man meme. When you go up against guys that have what you have, that length and that athleticism, it's it's difficult. It's more difficult than when you could just put your shoulder down. My thing is, this thing has gotten so, I don't want to say rotten, that Jonathan Kaminga is not Elliot Ness in the offseason. He is not untouchable if it's about me going to get a big boy uh. and package with Dr whoever. Everybody's available except 30. I mean... I I can see clearly now the limbs are gone, but that's how I feel. Let's go. No, that's how I feel. I think Kaminga that I could be moved. I think it's a, I think he's a ago, year away. No way. He doesn't make enough money to Ooh. make it worth your while, I don't think, to trade him. So you get to the offseason, and next year he's making, what, eight? And even if you give him the bag, and I think they will give him the bag, that bag doesn't show up for another year. So I think it's more likely in that scenario that they do the Jordan Poole which is wait uh, until that money wow. is on the books, and then you trade him, and then you can but, get something big for him. That, I, I agree with everything you said. There's one caveat, which is just because of the way this year plays. Um, if you have to attach Kaminga to one of the big <sighs> bad contracts, and mm. that's why somebody would take... like it's got to be more. The, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Does someone take a Wiggins and then go, but you need to put in Kaminga and... I, I'm I'm with you conceptually. Everything has to be completely on the table. I very much doubt that that okay. will end up happening. And I'm with you. The answer is not in the, the building. The answer is not in the building. And that is worrisome. So you gotta, yeah. Okay. You gotta go. They're gonna have. This is gonna be a Boy. fascinating. He told Calicani, like us get yep. big changes if they were if they didn't make it. Because we we plan on never being in the lottery. We are wow. not a lottery team until this year when we go to Secaucus. And who does he send? They're a game out. Well, next year they're going to be closer to the lottery than the title, too. But we don't know that because it could be a but, different team. Exactly, but how? They're in 10th now. So you're telling me next year they'll be in 4th. No, oh, if they went crazy berserk. No. And when you're in 10th, you're this close to the lottery. Right. When you're well, you're fourth, in the lottery. You're tenth. You're in the lottery. Let's be yeah. real. Unless no you dibs. make it out of the play. If Draymond does it, and he brought this up, gets suspended 25 games, would have, could have, should have. This team could be technically a six or a okay. fifth seed. Well, then let's sit I'll tight. Just leave that there there is that tight. part of this. Let's right. sit tight. Draymond will play 70 games next year. You're time. asking a, a volatile uh, guy who's had his own injury history if he played all 25, is he more spry or is he more fatigued at this point having played all that time? I think if you ever are going to think about a Steph Curry team as a title contender, he's got to be maybe your second best player. Or he's got to have a one A alongside him, and right now wow, he's man. the one, and you got a bunch of threes and yeah, fours. No you got no two. All right, gents, you have a great uh, show today. Before you walk out, before you walk out, 
in late. 33 minutes. Otani. And no cameras are allowed and no questions are allowed. What do you think is going to happen? What do we find? And by, so everyone stay with us. We're going to do a lot I, of Warriors, and then we'll pause at 245. Yeah. I'm not kidding when I tell you, you have what? it's no. not on TV. So MLB Network and Sportsnet LA will both be allowed in to broadcast it live, but no additional cameras or questions. And no questions. This is so like, be the, like haunted the Tiger house Woods at Disneyland. At the podium where no, he just says that. No windows and no doors. He'll knock this out the park. I made a couple and, mistakes. And, yeah, no doubt about so it. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm being, so he's making a statement. Yeah. It'd be amazing no if doubt. he just walked out with he's perfect English. What <laughs> like, so here's the deal, everybody. My translator <laughs> robbed me blind. <laughs> I am uh, excited to hear what he's saying. Well, right. Baseball needs him. They'll, 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 somehow well, he'll get the hook up. Shout I mean, out Master P. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to be a bad promoter, but I feel like this is going to be a fat nothing burger. Like, he's just going to come out and, right? Well, we'll see. What can he say? <laughs> All right, Jens. Maybe five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the game. The game. Yeah, the game. <laughs> I never even saw the bag today. Hey, it's Tiger. I need you to do me a huge favor. 